In this video, I have a theory of what I'm positive will happen in Fortnite within the next few weeks. I've put together all the pieces that Epic Games have left for us, and this is only the beginning of something so much bigger. The live event that happened today foreshadows so much stuff that's gonna happen in the future. Let's get into it. The iceberg didn't melt during this event and reveal a Fire King like we thought it would, but Shadical and I discussed this and we have figured out exactly what is going on. The iceberg is going to melt during another live event and the Fire King is going to come out of here and Shadical, what is going to happen? We are 100% sure about this. It only makes perfect sense. Nobody has talked about this before. I can't believe this is absolutely crazy. Shadical, explain what is going to happen. So we were just talking about this, guys. The live event that just happened is one in a series of live events. What might happen is we're going to end up either breaking the iceberg manually or it will melt on its own on another live event. But what is 100% sure is who's ever in here, whatever is in here, who, the prisoner that's being kept in the ice eventually is going to melt, as you can see by this water droplet right here. It is currently melting. So from there, the prisoner is going to awaken from his slumber and be upset that the entire map is already frozen. Keep in mind that the Fire King, we almost have proof about this guy. He is going to be mad, like Shadical mentioned, that the map is completely snowy and he is going to try to melt the snow. And that is the reason why the dragon eggs are here. Ladies and gentlemen, it only makes sense. Shadical, do you want to explain... What is going on? Once the Fire King breaks out of his chamber here, he is going to walk over and then from there, he is pretty much going to incubate the eggs and make them hatch. So guys, after they hatch, first of all, notice how the dragon eggs are right next to the iceberg. That makes perfect sense that after, that after the Fire King awakens, he's literally just going to walk over to the dragon eggs, hatch them, and there's gonna be dragons. But guys, basically, what I want you to think about for a second, this is exactly what is going to happen during the next live event. We all know that dragons, what they do, they are very scary creatures and Shadical, they breathe fire, right? Yep. These eggs were never supposed to hatch due to the Ice King freezing them. As you can see on the bottom of these eggs, they are completely frozen. Shadical, explain what is happening with the dragons, the fire, it's all coming together now. Guys, this is seriously the most likely theory I have ever seen that I'm coming up with. What I'm thinking is that why, you have to think of the location of these eggs. Why are they in a prison cell under the castle of the Ice King? It doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't they be held up there for them to hatch in the first place? The truth is the Ice King doesn't want them to hatch at all. He wants them to be frozen here because he knows that if they hatch, they'll ruin his plan of turning the entire Fortnite Island into ice. So something is going to happen involving the Fire King. Something is going to cause him to melt. And after he melts, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally game over. That is going to be around March or April when snow starts to melt in real life. Get ready for the live event of the Fire King. Guys, leave a like on this video right now if you believe this theory is true. And on top of that, the Fire King who actually trains these dragons and incubates them in real life, what ends up happening with eggs that hatch, the baby dragon or whatever baby that is inside the egg, the first thing that it looks at, it leaves an imprint and thinks that it's its mother or father or one of its parents. What I'm thinking is that the Fire King is going to hatch these eggs and the dragons will follow along. They're gonna think that the Fire King is its parent. The Fire King is going to break free within maybe the next week or within the next month. And what's going to happen? He is going to start taming the eggs. He is going to start slowly heating up the eggs with his fire. He's going to hatch the eggs. This is all going to be very long term. And by the time the eggs hatch, it is going to be around March or April when snow melts in real life. It's going to be the end of the Ice King's reign over the Battle Royale Island. And he'll be erased from the entire storyline. So as you guys remember, the Infinity Blade was super overpowered and- Yeah, super overpowered. That's why you kept using it because you're bad at Fortnite, Shadow. Leave me Leave me alone. Let me explain the theory, guys. Explain okay, it because okay. this actually makes okay. sense. Okay. Okay, keep going. So as you guys know, it was super overpowered, taken out of the game and replaced with this mysterious ice block. So what I'm thinking is that the Fire King that was locked in the dungeon is actually going to form pretty much a little raid or an attack on the Ice King and his ways. And he is going to melt- 
He's gonna melt the Infinity Blade that is in here and it's going to be revealed that it is a less overpowered version of the blade and it'll be back in the game for people to use against the Ice King. Yup, and he's going to use it to eliminate the Ice King and save the map. And on top of that, what I'm also thinking is that eventually after the Ice King and the Fire King end up fighting together in some kind of crazy live event with dragons and melting the map, obviously the Fire King will win because the map is not going to stay frozen forever. Eventually, all the snow will end up melting and, and causing an underwater theme for Season 8. This is honestly pretty likely all things considered since we got, got a desert theme last year for Season 5. Eventually, the entire iceberg will end up melting and we'll be left with this entire wet underwater area of the map that we can end up exploring. That'll probably end up leading to another storyline. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into detail and explain the event and everything that happened in it because there is some stuff that a lot of people missed. So inside of his hands, as you can see, he's holding something. But if I hit play, you can literally see, dude, it's that not a- That is Kevin, dude. It's not a fragment of the cube anymore. It's the entire cube. Now, the Ice King is using the cube to power his task of turning the entire island into snow. This is only the beginning of what I think is going to be a chain of live events that are going to start off with this ice storm here. Pretty much, the sphere is going to come back in a very big way, and it's going to come back in another live event. So with this live event, the Ice King was holding the cube. So what's going to happen in the future Possibly another character is going to be holding the sphere and the sphere is going to be powering What could possibly melt the Fortnite Battle Royale Island? We're almost positive on this and what we're going to do. We are we are going to play the live event and We're going to explain everything that happened because there are hidden meanings. Shadical three two one Hit play. All right. I'm pressing play dude. Here we go. As you guys can see, the Ice King is powering up. We all know that during the live event, when the sphere actually broke, the Ice King was right here. And then there was also a huge, I guess you could say, hologram of the Ice King. And yeah, so there's pretty much two Ice Kings. We're going to wait until that happens because there are also hidden meanings. The hologram of the Ice King, the huge Ice King, isn't there for no reason. We know why it's there. It's about to happen. The sphere is about to break. He's Here ready. He's about to power up and you're going to we're going to break this down for you guys. So as you guys can see, he pretty much took the sphere and absorbed it, broke out of the actual sphere. OK, Shadical, pause it again. Pause so, it right now. So as you can see, the hologram of the Ice King is absolutely identical to this Ice King right there. And what you just saw in the live event, Kevin the Cube just disappeared. It was absorbed into the Ice King. And he used the power of the cube to create this hologram. And the hologram is what is making the rest of the ice map. We all saw that the cube came back and the cube had major power in order to do this. So what is going to happen? The sphere is going to come back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to see it in another live event. What my theory is so far, guys, is anyone who has the Ice King's power, if you guys remember from earlier, there were other kings that have not been shown yet. And theoretically, what could happen is if any other one of them had access to the cube or even a fragment of the cube, exact, they could potentially make themselves just as big as the Ice King and potentially reverse the events that happened in the live event. Right, and you have to keep in mind that as soon as spring falls and snow starts to melt, I don't think the snow is going to just disappear in the map. There's going to be another crazy live event. And in order for this to happen, there is going to be the Fire King. We already mentioned him, but he never showed up during this live event. He is going to come back. And I am almost positive that the Fire King is going to be holding the sphere, possibly in a new object. And he is going to cause the island to melt. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play the rest of the live event. Shadical, hit play in three, two, one, go. So there he okay. goes. As he you is can powered see, up. And he is completely powered up. Where he's gathering power from, it seems, the cube, and he is going to pretty much cast an entire frost blizzard spell on the entire island. So he's essentially throwing the power of the cube to cause all of this ice, which is absolutely insane. We have no idea. If when the cube first came to be, this was its plan all along, it's obviously, it it doesn't seem like this was the, so I'm almost positive the cube is going to come back, 
But ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, that is it for the live event. The map is completely snowy. Guys, I'll be honest, this is probably one of my best theories that I've come up with. Honestly, I have a lot of faith in this theory. So you guys heard it here first. This will change Fortnite forever. And I don't mean that lightly. Seriously, guys, stay tuned for more theories just like this on what's going to happen in Fortnite. Goodbye.